Okay, here's our book. It's called Energy Island. And who remembers the name of the island that we're going to talk about? Starts with a s with an S. Do you remember? You forgot? Remember? Sam So. In this book, it's kind of a long book, so I might skip a page or two. But it tells us all about the island of Sam So. Okay? Energy Island. Can you notice already from the front what they have? Have any of you seen these little yellow ones like they oh, have? I have, I have red one. Sometimes, I have red raise your hand if you have one like in your garden or at your house, in your yard. I have one. I got one at the one there. Good. Lots of people have had those. And what happens with those? When the wind goes into it, what does it do? It spins. It starts spinning around just like these big windmills. Okay? It tells you which way the wind comes. Here's their island. I think it would be wonderful to live on an island. Welcome to Energy Island. The real name of our island is Samso, but we like to call it Energy Island. Not too long ago, we were just ordinary, normal people living on a normal island in the middle of Denmark. In many ways, Samso was, and still is, not very different from where you live. We have lots of fields and farms where farmers raise cows and sheep and grow crops like potatoes, peas, corn, and strawberries. That sounds kind of like Iowa, don't you think? Yeah. Farmers, farmers, we have those in Iowa. Lots of fields and farms and cows and sheep and corn and strawberries. That sounds a lot like, like Iowa to me. And there's a harbor where, they far where the ferry and fishing boats come in. Our little home has recently gotten very famous, and scientists travel from all over the world just to talk to us and learn about what we're doing. Why is that? Well, it's an interesting story. Hold on to your hats. Why does it say hold on to your hats? Because, because it's windy, right? Our island is in the middle of Denmark, and it's in the middle of the sea, just like what we saw on the map. That's why it's always very windy here. Whoops, look what happened. What didn't she do? She didn't hold on to her hat, her hat was flying. In the summer, we like to have fun at the beach, and in the winter, we play games inside. We have towns and schools, kids play soccer, and grown-ups go to the grocery store. It's very normal here, apart from the wind. Sounds like a normal place to me, huh? The way we used to use energy before was very ordinary, too. On dark winter nights, we switched on lots of lights and turned up our heaters to keep us warm. We used hot water without even thinking. Our oil came on tanker ships and trucks, and we used it to fill up our cars and our heating system. And our electricity came from the mainland by cable underneath the sea. A few years ago, most of us didn't think about where our energy was coming from or how it was made. That was before our island won a very unusual competition. The Danish Ministry of Environment and Energy chose Samso as the perfect place in Denmark to become independent of non-renewable energy. That meant they were going to start using different kinds of energy. Where is some place we could get our energy from? Think about things outside. Okay, there's big energy plants where they make energy. Think outside something you see that could help us make energy. The sun, did you hear me? Have you heard of having solar panels on your house? Some people do that and those help kind of suck in the heat and put it into your house. Do you? Awesome. And these people in Denmark, they use the wind, obviously, right? And here's a teacher. His name is Soren Hermansen. He was the one put in charge of leading the project. And he was a very normal person, too. Uh-oh, look at him. Well, he did play bass guitar in a band, which wasn't very ordinary. But his favorite subject was environmental studies. And he was very excited about energy independence. Tell me, class, what are some ways that we could make our own energy right here on the island? 
And here's what this boy said, just like what somebody said back there, that they can capture heat from the sun. This person says they could ride their bicycles instead of driving around. This person says use oil from crop. And this person says to burn straw and wood instead of using our heaters in our house all the time. Imagine if we really could make enough energy from the sun and our crops and our very own legs to power up the whole island. Then we wouldn't need those oil trucks to come here. We wouldn't have to worry about all the world's oil running out. Because someday, all the oil is going to be gone. And we're going to have to think about how we can use energy without that oil. Okay? It's not going to happen probably anytime soon. Um, but someday, it's going to run out. So we have to have ways that we can make new energy without oil. Do you think that we can really create that much energy all by ourselves? Asked Nadja. From just the sun, or our crops, or our legs? Well... You know, said Catherine, if there's one thing our island has plenty of, it is what? Wind. Wind. Maybe we should start with wind energy. Well, that's a wonderful idea, said Mr. Hermanson. Who's with me? Hold on to your hats, we all said. We all must hang Hopefully they hold on to better. The kids were very excited about all the new ideas, but the grown-ups, well, it took them a while to catch on. It's going to cost us millions of dollars, says Jorgen Thanberg. All these cows have me too busy already. Heat from the sun, said Peter Poland. Why would we bother with that? As long as I can keep my house warm and watch TV, I'm happy. I don't need anything to change. Bicycles, said Mognus Mailer. No way. I love my truck. Why us, said Dorothy Knudsen. Renewable energy, said Jans Hansen. I am too old for all of that. Samso is just a normal place, said old Jorgensen. What difference can we make to the world? So how do you think they're going to make it? The grown-ups don't really want to do it, do they? The kids do. But the teacher, Soren Hermanson, he wouldn't give up. He called lots and lots of meetings. There's energy all around us, he told them. We just need to work together and think bigger to make the best use of it. Look at what this lady says. She says, just teach the kids to do it. This person says, what if I could build a small wind turbine for my family? We're just a little island. How can we make a difference? And this person says, don't talk about small. You've got to think bigger. He talked to everyone. He talked to the soccer team, the farmers at the market, the teachers, the police, the harbor master, the lighthouse keeper, the fishermen, the dentist. This went on for many years. People listened, and lots of them even agreed with what he was saying. But nothing happened. Was there anyone willing to make a change? So he's got them all to agree with him, but is anybody doing anything yet? No. Then one day, the electrician Brian called Soren Hermanson. I'm just thinking small, he said but I'd like to put up a second-hand wind turbine next to my house. Jorgen Tranberg was thinking bigger. I want a huge wind turbine. I'll put all my money into it, and then I'll sell the electricity that it makes. Mr. Hermanson was very excited. Two projects had begun. One was very small, and one was very big. Brian Codger called all of his family and friends to help him put up his wind turbine. Do you see how they're building it? Kind of just like the movie that we watch. It took a while. It took a big ship and some giant trucks and two enormous cranes to build the windmill. Because they're so tall. They look alike. The project on Samso had begun 
but we were still using a lot of wasted energy. It looked like we might never achieve our dreams until one dark winter night. Sleet and snow blasted across the island and suddenly all the electricity on the whole island went out. Everything was dark. Everything except for Brian Codger's house. Free electricity, shouted Mr. Codger. My turbine works. Today, I am energy independent. Sure enough, the blades on his new turbine were whooshing and whirring in the wind. Hold on to your hats, cried Soren. And what do you think the other people are going to think now that he got to have energy and electricity when no one else did? What do you think the other people might think? They could go to his house and get free electricity. What else might they do? You think other people will want wind turbines now, don't you think? Can you all agree with that? That now that he has free electricity, don't you think other people will too? News can travel really fast on a small island like Samso. After that night, everyone was asking how they could make energy of their own. And here's what some of them did. The Holman family put in solar panels on their farm. Uh, Ingvar Jorgensen built a furnace that burns straw instead of oil. Eric Anderson makes tractor fuel from his crop. Brian Codger's wife, Bettina, whizzes around in a little electric car. How many of you seen these little cars like this? And these cars, instead of gas, do you know what they do? Instead of putting gas in it, you plug it in. Plug it into the wall, hot wire. and it would charge. And it has just a battery. It's it's a hot wire. wire. That's called hot wire. Well, not exactly hot wire. You just plug it in. Every one of us has an energy independent story, and that's why people all over the world want to hear the latest news from Energy Island. Let's see if Jorgen Tramberg will take us up the ladder to the top of his very fantastic wind turbine, so that we can see what Sandstone looks like today. These wind turbines, these windmills. Look at these ladders that they have on them. You can actually climb all the way up to the top. They look like tracks, but they're ladders going straight up. And look at this guy. We are up on the top of it. Yeah, you can climb right up. They actually, the ones that are by my mom and dad's house, you can go up to them. And you can see. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do it, and I wouldn't do it. It's only for people that work on them. It's not for other people to climb up. If you get grabbed, that would be very scary. As you can see, there's plenty going on, and now we have now we have lots of wind turbines. Down there is Samso's brand new learning center, the Energy Academy, where kids and grown-ups from all over the world come to learn about what we have done and to talk about new ideas for making and sharing energy. So this is kind of what the whole island looks like. Do you see how there's lots of windmills here? And what's this? What are these out here? Where are they at? Water. In the water, like the picture that we saw on the computer. And the director, the leader of the Learning Academy, is the teacher, Soren Hermanson. So that's how we got the name Energy Island. What can you do to make a difference on your island? Hey, what's that? You don't live on an island? Well, maybe you think you don't live on an island, but actually you do. We all do. We are all islanders on the biggest island of them all, planet Earth. So it's up to us to figure out how to we don't save. Live on no, but we live on planet Earth, which the they're end? saying is kind of just like a really big island. But and that's here. Our island is like this big. Just like they just pages. No, but I skipped a couple. Here they are on their island, and you can see their windows out in the water. I think that would be really cool to see those windows out in the water. Can we go now? Um, the girls may go check out. Oh. I can't check out. Oh. I can't check out. Oh. Yeah, now you look like made up. Boise, check out. Did you know you got bug teeth? I already know that. You got big teeth. That's what they call it. That's because his face is 